Alright guys, so went to the dentist today in Broad Ripple and on our way back to Walton I stopped in Noblesville at the antique store and surprisingly enough I only spent uh, $38 partially because I forgot to buy a little combine that I forgot about but I got some pretty good stuff one of the things that we're gonna show I'll just start off with the with this little Ford truck here um, the booth that I got this truck from is run by one of the people that brings stuff to Yogi's Toy Show in Noblesville. And wouldn't you know, I thought I bought this truck at the toy show, and when I got home, I only had one that was really nice. I didn't have this one that was just kind of chipped up. So, I bought this, and I think I know what custom I'm going to do with it. Um, now the windows are yellow in this one instead of clear like I wish they would be and it's missing a tail light so kind of disappointed about that um, for my uh, custom but it's all right we'll live through it we'll figure it out um, brush guards a little broke there but Actually, for the custom, we're not going to use a brush guard. So I was glad I needed this model or one very similar to it that had these wheels on it. Not a lot of this casting had those um, special 620 racing wheels on them. So I was very happy to find that one. That is a Ford Flare Side pickup. Um, and got several die casts here. Got an old Lesney taxi. This is a Chevy Impala. Chevy Impala taxi, number 30, made by Lesney. Got the little Impala emblem cast in there. Nice tail lights. Still got our trailer hitch. Some of the old Lesneys had a driver. The taxi was one of them. Decals in pretty good shape. And that one actually for a Lesney, for the original wheel Lesney, rolls very smoothly. Got this little truck here for 99 cents. I think, okay, this is made by Mini Might. And it is made in Hong Kong. It's all plastic. But it's odd. It's a Dodge um, cab over truck. Who else made a Dodge cab over truck? <laughs> Lesney had a six wheel and a four-wheel Dodge cab over it's got the little boxes it's got the fuel tank I think this when Lesney went belly up I think that some Japanese or China okay Hong Kong uh, Chinese company bought the um, casting mold from Lesney of this little Dodge cab over truck and started making it with this chrome refrigerator box on the back. Whatever the story is, I think it's a recycled casting from Lesney that just doesn't say Dodge up here anymore. But I really liked it. I just thought it was a neat little box truck anyhow. Uh, and it was 99 cents. So, couldn't beat that. I know it's all plastic, but I still liked it. 
Uh, I got some blank cassettes, some recording stuff. Got an old. This was how much was this? This I got this thing really cheap. Tootsie toy truck, two dollars and fifty cents. This was two dollars and fifty cents. Normally you can't find these that cheap. Uh, it's an old Tootsie toy. It's missing one of its tires. Made in the United States of America, Tootsie Toy. This truck was a one-time orange with a red gravel bed. Very cool truck, even if it's missing a tire. That was a really good deal. I couldn't pass it up. Got an 83 Chevy Silverado in the Hot Truck series, and the decals on it remind me of the Ford Explorer pickup that they had back in the 70s. That's what these decals remind me of. They're not exactly, but they're similar. That's that's kind of why I got it. I'm like, it's a Ford Explorer Chevy. Got John Mellencamp Scarecrow. And we got some other die casts in that cup there. The cup's pretty cool as well. Oh, I almost forgot this thing because it wasn't in the bag. This is the Ford Model T 1921 from Matchbox. And you can tell this is an older Matchbox. It's got the, uh, the, the grid pattern. 1992 it's got the advertisement for the super spin car wash which I would love to have the super spin car wash I can't find one that's complete that works I really want a functional super spin car wash um, so I have this cast or I have this um, version of this truck but I don't have one in the package so Actually, I don't have any of these Model T's in the package. So I was happy to find that one. Bruce Horns being the range. The reason I wanted this one is because I have this cassette and it's all <laughs> warbly and worn out. So hopefully I, this one is a little better. Uh, oh, and Buck Owens. Uh, Buck Owens is one of my favorite singers. So very excited about that. I want to show you this cup. I've never seen one of these cups before. It's plastic. It probably doesn't hold water, but I don't care. It says Loretta Lynn's Ranch. Got a picture of a guy on a horse. Loretta Lynn's Ranch logo. You know, they're not super fancy, the cup's not in great shape, but I thought it was really cool, so I got it. Uh, this was apparently a dollar. She, she didn't take the tags off everything. Another Ford Flare side pickup. This is the little Maisto. What is this, a 90 Ford? I think it was, I think it's a 90, it doesn't say. It's a newer style one. It's got the newer wheels on it. I'd like to find the older style Maisto wheels and put on it. Then it would look really nice. I just don't really care for these wheels. Nonetheless, not seen one in this color, and it's very pretty. And I like that casting. Oh, that one's bouncy. So I had to get that one. Um... I didn't really need this, but I liked it. It's another 96 Chevy Silverado NASCAR truck, 96 Chevy 1500. Apparently this was in the Track Aces series, because it says Track Aces on the side. Um, 
just kind of a neat one. Nothing special about it, I don't think. It's in decent shape, though. And then another XJ Jeep from Matchbox. This is an XJ Sport Wagon. It's a two-door version. And I really like this. The color, the slightly blue windows, and the dark gray around the edges. I really like this um, variation of the Jeep. So, I picked it up. I have several of these XJ Sport Wagons, but I had never seen this green one before, and I really liked it. It's a newer one. It's got the newer style wheels. But I didn't care, because I liked it. So I think these were modeled after an 86 Jeep. Where's the copyright? Copyright 86. Uh, yeah, Jeep just says Jeep Kit Cherokee on it, but... They're the old XJs. Um, and we got one more thing. Actually, this last thing came from Thistle and Time, which is a... It says home store on the outside, but it's an antique store. And, um... I got something a little out of my wheelhouse. However, something that I really like. And hopefully it made it home because it's very fragile. It's a coal it's a coal oil lamp, but it's a very tiny coal coal oil lamp. This is my hand next to it. It's like a little goblet. Um and it's got this little what do they call that? A fluted edge? Is that what they call that? It's all fluted out. Maybe that's not what the term. So I think the base on it is brass. And then obviously the rose colored body. I just thought it was an, a nice lamp. I don't really need it, but I thought it was nice and I don't have I don't have any miniature oil lamps, so I was very happy to find that one and it was I think it was six bucks. So there's no cracks in it anywhere. If I wanted to use it theoretically I could, so I like things that are cutesy and functional. That is that. So like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next video. And this place was called Noblesville Antiques on the Square. <laughs> I figure I should at least say where I got this stuff. So catch you in the next video, guys.